Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Alpha Wisdom. I'm Mystic Cassandria and this is 103, Lesson 103. All right, we're going to be doing another famous person. This time we're going to be doing an American actor. I was only able to find an earlier picture, meaning younger. So there have been, I'm positive that there have been changes in what's going on in his life. So what you will be hearing today is what we see from a young, younger age. I can't give you pinpoint what age it is, but it's certain, I'd say at least 20, maybe at least 20 years younger than what he is today, or could have been a little more than that, but at least that, okay? But we're gonna go at it again and see what happens in the earlier life, okay? This is Robert Downey Jr., okay? He's an American actor, movie actor. He's, gee, so many movies he has done. I can't begin to say how many it is, but many, many. Um, he's, you probably know him best as Iron Man or one of the actors in uh, a Marvel Cinematic Universe series. He has done a lot to bring that to uh, Marvel to the forefront. That's today. But let's take a peek at what's going on in his life in the earlier part, okay? First, when we look at this hand, it looks like a plain hand. There's not many lines in the hand, as you see. This hand is an earth hand. That means someone is very close to home, family is important, and we can see other things in the palm to tell that. Earth hand is a square palm with shorter fingers. This is a plain palm, and we can see the fingers, the shape of the fingers, and whatever is going on in the palm. Okay. So we can see the fingers, if you focus on the fingers now, they are knotty. You see the joint that's close to the lowest part of the finger? We're looking at primarily the mercury finger, that's a little finger, the Apollo ring finger, and a little with the middle finger as well as the index. That means this person thinks a lot. He will check things carefully before he goes about doing whatever it is is required of him, okay? Now we notice again with the fingers, the space between them. As we look at the um, middle finger and between the middle finger and the ring finger, there is space. He loves to make up his mind, make his own decisions, all right? There's a little space between the middle finger and the ring finger. It's like a little gap there. That means he's open with his business and finances, but not much. There is some there. Then we take a look at the little finger and the middle finger. There is a big gap there. This person is independent in his working. He enjoys uh, doing it alone. He understands how it's done and he knows how he wants to do it. So he is happiest when he's allowed to do that. So with not back to the naughty fingers, these are fingers when it's naughty, the person does research, studies, goes over it. If it's a script, must do it well. So it's careful examination. Okay, now going into the palm, we're looking at the line, the uh, joining of the headline and the lifeline. It is joined together and the joining stays for a while. Okay, so let's, have, let's see what's going on with this. It shows a large island around age 10. That's a big disruption. It could be a health issue, but it is a disruption. And then there's a small one between 11 and a half and 12. Another disruption could be health. All right, the line still joined is clear afterwards. He hasn't moved away from the family. So family 
uh, is very important. He's really rooted in that at this point in his life, okay? But things get better. Now, another point, you notice the headline, where that arrow's pointing, the headline stops. So what happens? He's stopping to think. When the headline is that short and you see nothing else to claim as a headline, we're talking about someone that has very little to say, makes a little brief statement, and that's it. It's not a long thinker, just thinker, just uh, says what it has to say in very few words. However, there's a fine line just above it. You may not be able to see it, but it tends to balance off. It's like it wants to continue thinking, okay? Sometimes they're called a floating line. It's not strong or defined enough to be called a double headline. So it's a floating line. So it acts as a helper to the line that's missing, okay? Now he has mercury lines, several of them. So issues he, through his life, he has had issues with his health. So when you have these little fine lines, several of them, you might get better, and then there's another issue with the health, so something like that. And then there's a fate line, which stops around age 35. Now, as we know, he's past 35, and he's still working. That's why I want to point out to you this is a young one. So as your life changes, we have lines or signs in the palms that show that change, okay? And one last thing, he has um, an, a, an line there, a warrior sign, which indicates anger issue at that point in his life. He, I'm, I'm, maybe he has a temper, temper. I'm not doing this intuitively. So it's just a little anger issue there. And the thumb is flexible. There's a curve at the top, but it stays in place. So that's as far as we can go at that point. So overall, it's a plain hand. It has shows potential. There is no sunline. I check carefully that there is no sunline. So it probably started to appear. Remember, as your life changes, whatever happens to you, a line or mark will indicate or show that in the palm. Okay? So we're ending this one at this point. I hope you understood this and you liked it. And if so, just give a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. Okay, until our next one. Have a great day. Stay happy. Stay safe. Bye.